Hey guys, today I got a quick video for you. It's actually requested by somebody. I can't remember who it was. But this is a an older model, eight horsepower Briggs, model 19, the flathead. And somebody wanted to know how the the throttle and governor linkages and everything was set up. So I thought I'd throw a, a quick video together to show you. Uh, this is actually off a generator, so it'll cover a generator engine as well as a standard like tiller engine too. So uh, let's uh, look at it a little closer. And this does have a brand new aftermarket carburetor on it. Uh, this was used in another video when I first got it, uh, starting it up and everything. You see it's got the tapered uh, generator shaft on it. i got to take you off the tripod for this to show you. But it's uh, actually a pretty simple governor setup on these. You just have one linkage that runs from the governor arm, you can see here. It runs up to the throttle plate on the carburetor. That's really see it moving there and just connect straight down there and it has a little spring mark most of the time these will break and people ask me all the time what this little spring does and it's for uh, keeping tension between the two linkages to keep any play out of it which is more critical one like this it's a generator engine so it's more critical uh, your main throttle cable will connect to this but in this case it has this adjustment here for fine tune it on a generator to keep the RPMs constant to, to your frequency the same and this just ties into the back of the piece that moves with the throttle as you can see here and your governor spring is going to be a little harder to see because the governor spring is actually missing on this engine I didn't notice that it will connect between this tab right here and tie in There'll be a hole right here by this point in the governor arm here. That's where the governor spring will connect. That's why this engine was wanting to race. You see this spring I put in there just to keep it idle because that governor spring is actually missing on there. I didn't know that until just now. But then your governor adjustment would be right here. I have a separate video on how to adjust the governor do it the same as here. It looks a little bit different than the engine in the video, but it's basically the same. I also have a separate video on how to adjust this type of carburetor. It might be handy for you to see too. To get one of these to tune in right. Uh, your choke is over here. But that's pretty much all there is to the, the uh, throttle and governor linkages. There's not too much involved with these pretty straightforward. Some of these may have a kill switch wired into it. This is just a terminal here. All this is where you hook your shutoff wire to to run to a shutoff switch. But that should point you in the right direction to putting the linkages back together if yours is missing or something. Like I said, the only thing you can't see here is the governor spring. It'll just run between this piece and right in the middle of that uh, governor arm right there. There'll be a, about two or three holes in it for that. Well guys, if you got any questions or comments about these engines, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.